Hi everybody, welcome to develop your English Scholars channel. Today's lesson is Learning Training. In my previous lesson, I explained for you autonomous learning, I give you uh, the definition of autonomous learning, the purpose of autonomous learning, and a model which summarizes everything about uh, autonomous learning. In this lesson, I will explain for you learning training. Learning training and learning autonom uh, autonomous learning are two uh, connective uh, topics. They are not so different from each other. They have just some details, uh, different, different, different details. So now I will uh, explain for you learning training. I will give you the definition of learning training, the purpose of learning training, and language learning strategies. I will explain for you the relationship between language learning strategies and learning training. We will also explain the types of language learning strategies. Then I give you practical tips for strategy learning. At the end, I will explain teacher roles. So let's start with the definition. Definition of learning training. What is a learning training? A learner training refers to teachers' intervention to help learners make regular use of various language learning strategies in order to learn the language effectively, operate competently in real-life situations, and solve real-life tasks. So we can understand from these definitions that learning training is an intervention of teachers to help students to learn how to learn to use what they learn in their society, in their life tasks. So what is the aim of learning training? First, first of all, in all scene, the learner's awareness of language and the process of language learning. So the learners will become aware of, the, of what they want to learn and the process and the strategy that the teacher follow in the process learning. Involving learners in the planning for their learning. So, uh, as this new method of teaching method, the learner should be the center of the learning process. So they don't, they will not wait for the teacher to give them the lesson, explain of them everything. No. They will be a part of the planning, or the teacher will give him or give them the opportunity to plan what they want to learn too. Helping, helping learners to learn how to organize their learning, keeping a log, notebook, portfolio, dictionary, etc. The teacher here will also help them to use these materials to develop their learning. Helping learners to think about their learning. Uh, as I said, that uh, students will be a part of their of the, of the learner process, so they will think about what they want to learn, when, etc. Let's move to the language learning strategies. What is a language learning strategies? Here I will give you the definition of language learning strategies. Language learning strategies are defined as specific actions mental steps, operations, or techniques that learners often use deliberately to improve and facilitate the meetings, the meeting, storage, interna internalization, retrieval or use of the new language. So we can understand that language learning strategies are mental steps or are entire, the entire person activities. We, you will understand more when I give you more details and more definitions. Next definition is, this definition uh, help us to understand the relationship between language learning strategies and learning training. So what is the function of language learning strategies? Within the communicative language teaching, these strategies are problem solving and geared towards improving the learner's communicative competence in its totality, grammatical, sociolinguistic, discourse, and strategic competence. They are also used by learners to regulate their efforts while learning the language. 
so we can understand that language learning strategies are essential mat materials or techniques that the learner need to reach an efficient learning. Also, to uh, communicate and use language fluency. Let's see the types of language learning strategies which will give you uh, more details and more information also will help you to understand more about language learning strategies. Language learning strategies types. The first type is direct language learning strategies, which directly involve the subject matter or the language. It divided into three types. You should remember that direct language learning strategies directly involve the subject matter. You can understand why soon. The first uh, type is memory strategies. So what is the function of this strategy or memory strategy? Aid in entering information into long-term memory and retrieving information we needed for communication. So we can understand that memory strategy help learners to uh, to keep or uh, entering information for a long term, then use it when uh, in the producing text in the communication during communication. This is what is the definition of memory strategies. Cognitive language learning strategies are used for forming and revising internal mental models and receiving and producing messages in the target language. So this strategy help learners to understanding the receiving message, also help them to produce a new text message during the communication, sure. Compensation language learning strategies are needed to overcome any gaps in knowledge of the language. So what is the function of this compensation of language learning strategies? The function is that these uh, strategies help learners to overcome any problems. For example, if you still have problem in uh, grammar or uh, lack of vocabulary, etc. So this, uh, this strategy help uh, uh, learners to overcome their, uh, their gaps or problems. These are uh, the types of learning uh, of direct language learning strategy are memory strategy, cognitive uh, language learning strategy and compensation language learning strategy which are directly involve the language. The next type which is indirect language learning strategy which don't directly involve the subject matter itself but are essential to language learning nonetheless. It divided into three types. So these uh, type of strategies, of language learning strategies, are not involved uh, to the subject matter or to the language, are not directly involved. The first one, directly involved, but it are essential to language learning nonetheless. You will see the types and understand what I'm talking about. The first strategy is metacognitive strategies. Help learners exercise executive control through planning, arranging, focusing, and evaluating their own learning. So this strategy help learners to focus on their learning, to evaluate their information, to arrange in the last or the old information and the, the new ones, to plan it for their learning, etc. The next strategy is affective language learning strategy. Enable learners to control feeling, motivations, and attitudes related to language learning. This strategy helps learners to control their, uh, their personality, feeling, attitudes, uh, etc. during the communication. Another the last strategy is social strategies facilitate interaction with others often in discourse situations. So here in this strategy help learners to uh, integrate in the new society and interact with others easily. This is the functions of these strategies. 
I think now you are understanding what is the meaning and what is the function of these language learning strategies which have two types, direct language learning strategies which involve directly to the language or to the subject matter and indirect language learning strategies which are essential to language learning even though it is not directly involved subject matter or the language. Now let's move to the practical tips for strategy learning. Learning to lean in can only be achievable if an effective and well-organized instruction is undertaken on a daily basis. So the effective learning to lean in can be reached uh, if the if well-organized instruction, if uh, some activities organized in the daily basis. For example, Invite learners to perform a task or series of tasks and then highlight the benefit of using any of the strategies specified, centering one's learning, interfering, rehearsing, encouraging oneself, etc. So, to reach a, a learning, efficient learning training, the teacher should, uh, should use many tasks or series of tasks and ask the students to perform. Set goals and time limit for the recognition and practice of these strategies and consider individual style differences. Here that uh, can understand that each activity should be defined with a limit time. Also the teacher, when he wants to use any strategy or activity, should respect or consider or take into his consideration that students are not equals. They, have, they are different of levels, different of abilities, etc. That teachers should use different activities to suitable for all the teachers' style learning. This is what we have for language learning strategies. I think now it's clear. Uh, you, you understand now what is the relationship between language learning strategies and learning training. So let's move to the last one, which is teacher roles. What is the teacher roles here in learning training and autonomous learning? Teacher should be a facilitator of learning, monitor, diagnostician, coach, coordinator of learners or advisor. So in this new teaching method, teacher should be just facilitator of learning to give just information help them just to, to learn them how to learn, monitor, monitor in the groups and the, uh, when they give them a project work, for example, he need just to monitor, correct the mistake, coach, he need to, uh, to give them, coordinator, he need also to uh, coordinate students, uh, motivate them, etc. Also advisor, which give them advice, etc. This is the role of the teachers in this autonomous learning and training learning. See you soon, inshallah. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. Also share. Share to other future teachers to benefit them and to help them to prepare well for the teaching exam. See you soon, inshallah. Bye.